Welcome to another video episode brought to you by LearnToGarden.net, your quality ornamental and landscape information source. Now, to help walk you through the do's and don'ts of perennial and rose gardening, here's your host, Master Gardener, Waco Bankston. Hi, welcome to another video blog of LearnToGarden.net. Today what we're going to do is look at uh, pruning some hybrid tea roses that you see here behind me. And one of the methods that you want to use is, is to use loppers similar to this that you've, we've also had in another video episode. But basically this gives you leverage to cut those bigger canes and branches. So what we want to do is begin by going through and basically leaving three or four major canes, one of the newer canes that, the, that are more green in color. And then we want to make sure we trim back to about a foot above the, the crown. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. Now what we're talking about when we talk about crown is this section here at the bottom. It's where the canes grow out of. Now sometimes you'll have the suckers that grow out from the root stock, which is below the crown. But the crown here uh, is what we're talking about. You want to prune about a foot above that crown, which is somewhere in this neighborhood. So we'll demonstrate that here now. Now one thing you can do when you're pruning the roses is you can, sh it's a time where you can shape the bush. You see all these uh, little pencil sized stems here growing internal to the bush. You want to trim those out. You can just do that right at the cane. But another thing you want to do in terms of shaping is you can see these bud eyes here. If you can get close there, you can see these bud eyes on the, uh, on the cane here. Well, wherever you see a bud eye, it's going to grow in that direction. So for instance, if I prune right here, this one, this bud eye here is going to, is going to uh, produce a cane growing this way, which is internal to the bush. You want them kind of growing out, so it's a way you can shape the bush. So if I go up about a foot from the crown, about in this, about in the, right in here, so right about a foot above the crown is where I'm going to trim. And if I prune right here, right above this bud eye, about a fourth inch with a slanted cut, about a 45 degree angle, what that's going to do is produce a cane growing out this way and it'll shape the bush well. So I'm going to just make the pruning cut about a fourth an inch here without getting hit and then just remove the cane. And now if you see the finished cut, you've got a cut with a slight angle on it so that any water doesn't settle there on top of the cane. And then you've got your bud eye about a fourth inch below the cut and it's going to produce a cane growing out in that direction. So now we'll finish the cuts and uh, see what the remaining, see what the finished product looks like. So what we have here is the finished product. You can see we have one, two, three, four canes or, or one, about three major canes and then some coming off of it. But you can see the bush is shaped up now. The bud, the bud eyes where we trimmed are for the most part growing outward. And then uh, we've gotten rid of all the twiggy growth and what you have remaining is uh, good healthy growth and hopefully come spring you'll have a good rose bush and good rose production. If you like what you've seen and want to see more, please visit LearnToGarden.net's video section for more gardening tips. Until next time, here's to your successful gardening.